it's 2023. That means it's time for all the New Year's resolutions and the promises we make to ourselves that we're going to get things going right in this new year. And yeah, I'm not planning to do any of that. Like for the past few years, I've not done any kind of resolutions because they don't work. But this year I thought that I would do something more like a commitment to myself. And I kind of like that idea a little bit better because if I, I'm saying it's a commitment, then I know that it's something that I want to do. And if it's something that I want to do, then normally I will go out of my way to make sure that I do it. So yeah, that's kind of the point of this, I guess I should call it audio podcast because, you know, there's not really much for me to show on the video. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> So I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of my plans, not necessarily for the channel, because, you know, as I am going through it and going through my commitments and the kind of things that I want to do, you know, I would rather just show you what I'm going to do rather than tell you up front. I feel like that's kind of the best way to do it. So, yeah, what I more want to talk about is just you know, kind of my commitments for the year, some of the things that I want to do. So here we go. First on the list is sort of the personal things that I want to do. And, you know, the first thing I put on my list is I want to do a hundred workouts on this app iFit. Now, I don't normally care about, you know, workout, um, like, well, workout apps or anything like that, but I have an order track bike. It's a, it's a spinning bike. So I have one of those and I really like doing it. So this year, because I've not, I've not gotten close in the time that I've had it because, you know, things like illnesses and whatnot have kind of barred me from completing it as I want to. But this year I'm going to finish a hundred workouts and yeah, I've already done seven so far, so I think I'm off to a good start. <laughs> Second on the list is I want to finish this Japanese program that I have. And so, you know, I, uh, I, I like, if you know Ollie Richards on YouTube, because I know he's on YouTube and he has his, uh, his story learning program that he now, that he now has. And so he has a lot of different programs. Well, you know, during the uh, Black Friday sales, his programs go on an incredible sale. So I got uh, the Japanese Uncovered Intermediate and Upper Intermediate. And so this year, I kind of want to concentrate on doing those programs, taking it seriously, finishing those programs, and, you know, seeing kind of where my Japanese takes me. So yeah, that's the uh, second thing that is personal. Third thing is reading. Now I've, I, I, I consistently read, but I have a tendency to read a lot of kind of regular books or not necessarily regular books, but kind of uh, like how would I, how would I talk about this? Sort of like small fluff books. And one of the things that I've gotten out of reading for a very long time is fantasy novels. So yeah, I want to definitely this year get back into reading fantasy novels. And so first on my list is I want to finish up The Cimmerillion. And I'm going to do a video later on what's going to be my reading list. And I am likely going to do a review of The Cimmerillion, especially because you know, the Cimmerillion is something that is something that I'm reading because of the whole debacle with the Rings of Power. And yeah, I, I think it would be a fun thing to talk about considering the Rings of Power is now out and we can see the kind of travesty that it is. So yeah, that is kind of personal. But yeah, those are the those are the personal commitments to myself. And so 
yeah, those are kind of the things that just for me that I'm going to find important this year that I'm going to want to do. So yeah, what's going to matter more for the channel and everything future wise is my work commitments. And so this year I want to concentrate on YouTube. You know, I, I, I come, I come and go on this platform a lot because I want to do the YouTube, but I'm more focused on my writing than anything else. Well, I feel like this year I'm kind of in a good enough place that I can take a break on that and concentrate on doing this because this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be important. It's something that I really want to do. It's something that I want to see where I can go, you know, how far I can take it. And, you know, I think as a platform, I, I feel like YouTube is just, I don't know, I feel like YouTube is something that can be a really fun thing to explore. And I kind of want to explore it this year. So yeah, that's, you know, so yeah, top of my work list is concentrating on YouTube this year. Second is working out world building of my stories because of course I'm not going to give up on writing this year just because I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on my YouTube channel so that's also going to be something that I'm going to take a look at and work through and make sure that you know in terms of the storytelling that what I have is going to make sense as I put words to pages third is not losing my mind with twitter and yeah th that's kind of an easy thing for me to do because i went back to twitter begrudgingly so i'm not really on there a lot but if i'm going to take youtube seriously then i'm probably going to have to take twitter seriously because you know the two kind of can work together as a way of interacting with you know those of you who come and watch my channel. So yeah, not losing my mind with Twitter. And yeah, like kind of like the best way that I know that I'm gonna be able to do it is I'm not necessarily going to concentrate, well, I'm not gonna concentrate on politics because being honest, there is a need to pay attention to politics, of course, but it kind of bores me. So I'm not really caring that much about politics so yeah if I stay away from politics on Twitter and I keep up the fun part of it which is you know looking at the pop culture stuff that I'm more interested in I'll have a funner time I won't lose my mind I think I'll have a better experience on Twitter and you know as this channel grows and you know as I get more followers and I get to interact more with people it should definitely be able I should definitely be able to have a lot more fun on Twitter. And so last of my kind of work commitments is is uh well my commitment to art. Right now I am very much a doodler, so a lot of my style is based off of doodling more, but I want to concentrate on getting down the basics and the, the foundations and working more on landscape because, you know, part of what I like about being a fantasy writer is the, is the world building that you can do. And so I love looking at fantasy art and I would love to make fantasy art one day. So yeah, that is definitely something that I want to look into taking much more seriously this year it's something that you know like the YouTube I tend to put it aside even though it's something that keeps coming back to mind you know year after year after year so yeah that is um, kind of how I'm seeing it <laughs> that's kind of you know how I am looking at this year and yeah this is kind of a quick video because well you know for the most part, I just kind of wanted to get something, I just kind of wanted to get something out, you know, and this is kind of a good way for me to do it, 
you know, because it's, it's, it's serious for me because it's my commitments, but it's not necessarily serious for the audience because you don't have to care about my commitments. You just have to, you know, you just have to see later on if I hit my targets or if I haven't hit the targets. And yeah, so we have to the end of the year to see what happens. And other, other than that, that's kind of that for this video. So yeah, to just kind of put it all together, this year I'm telling myself that I, I want to concentrate and I have to concentrate more on YouTube. I did, I, I did really well in 2019 or I guess in part of 2019, then 2020 hit and I, for myself, I stopped and yeah, I probably shouldn't have. And I know that none of you care about this, but you know, realistically, yeah, I, I just, I know that it's part of the whole motivation thing. And so, yeah, I will work it out now that it's my commitment and yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.